Crafty Nana here. Um, I'm continuing with my shrines. I wanted to show you my t-shirt today because I rather love it. Okay, so my teach my t-shirt says Hogwarts wasn't hiring, so I teach muggles instead. Cool, huh? Fortunately, I don't get to put my penny on most of the time so people can't see it, so I just thought I'd share it with you. Okay, so today's projects. We have the shikadas and we have the butterfly to sort out. Um, now I've just got out my mica powders, which, I've, which you can see I've got quite a nice selection of colours here. Um, and I just thought I might bring out some of the details on this. There's no point pushing patterns into it and then keeping it flat looking. So I'm going to have a little experiment with those and see which works best. Um, and then I've got to attach all my dangly bits. Just contemplating whether I should put a, like a second, second set of wings over this butterfly with the pattern on, maybe clear ones with the printed butterfly on it. Um, just trying to decide because this is like the little finishing touches that make it look good so I've got to put a little bit of effort into it. I'm going to set my camera up on the tripod now so that I can talk you through as I do stuff. Hey, that looks good okay so so when you get the rubber stamps and this one I use this butterfly here they come on a backing sheet that also has the printing on it of the same butterflies so this is exactly a perfect fit for this also got these ones which are a bit smaller although that one is larger i don't think that works as well because it's too spotty too too much going on so what i'm thinking is i'm going to cut this one out put it over this one and then put another couple of where i've got little butterflies maybe put another couple of little butterflies on there so that the whole thing has got like a looks like they've settled on it um i think that will look really quite cute now before i do that do do i need to bring out any more of the background design i'm thinking it wouldn't hurt but what color would i go for considering the look of this we've got gold at the top where the where the points are and we've got the gold and the obviously gold green and blue at the bottom and it's a blue butterfly and i'm thinking i've got this beautiful beautiful deep rich blue almost the color of my fingernails that i could use so let's see if it will work if it does anything worthwhile oh i've got to get the lid off of course that is a hmm ah yeah, so there you go. For a minute there, I thought I wasn't going to manage it. Ah, look at that rich, rich, sparkly blue. So delicious. So I'm just putting a little bit of this blue into all the patches where there are butterflies just to hop that colour up. Maybe we'll take some of the green as well. Slightly easier to get into this one. Mm -hmm. little dust off just going to cut out all the way around my butterfly from the original stamp sheet almost there up to his body around the back now, if we want to add some colour onto this, if we want to, I'm not saying we do, we could actually use glass paint on the back of this so you still see the black through, but you get some colour behind. So this is a blue and orange butterfly. Do we want to make this into a blue and orange butterfly or is that overkill? Is that going to distract from our butterfly inside? 
Do we just want the black and white? This is the next decision. Okay. What do we think? Is that enough? Is that enough? Do we want this one to be colored behind? You can see that touch of blue from the from the metallic powder behind. I love the way they're blowing in the in the um aircon. It would be quite cool if the butterflies were all doing that when they're actually on it. But of course, I think as soon as I attach one part of them, it'll, it'll stop them from doing that because that would have literally looked like real butterflies had landed on it. So one last job to do. Fix this butterfly on a hoop behind here so it hangs. And then I think this one is more or less done. Just needs a ribbon, all these things fixing and we're more or less there. So obviously we're going to have to give that a little while to dry because we don't want it to break off. Then we'll get these ones in position. Now one of the things I'm going to have to be very careful with is that when you use hot glue on acetate, which these butterflies are, that it doesn't make it all um, bend out of shape because obviously the heat can warp the plastic dr dramatically. So now we can look at our picture and our picture has got orange quite cool quite cool um, so do you want to go any further or do we think we want to leave it at that? Do we want to add a bit of blue? Let's see. Let's see what happens. Don't like it as I said, we can always take it off. This is window paint. What do we think? Oh, we quite like that. We do quite like that. We think that looks quite pretty. Oh yeah. So, what would the body colour be? The body colour is probably brown. Beautiful colour. Mix that with a little bit of the orange. So that it's got a... I think you can almost stick that on with the glass paint. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I like that. So, let's have a look at our other butterflies. Now, these feel rather plain now. So, what do we do want to do with these? Do we want to make the, give these a little bit of colour as well? Let's have a look. three butterflies on. I think three's enough. We don't want to go for overkill. It's me talking to you with my paintbrush in my mouth. Not a good thing to do. I need to make sure that I get this glass paint off the paintbrush quite quickly because glass paint kills paintbrushes. Okay. So there she is. I, put, um, I like it. I think she's cute. Let's put some light on her so you can see her. So we've got the top butterfly, side butterfly, bottom butterfly, and the gem butterfly. Yes, all in all, I'm really pleased with how that one's turned out. And so the next one will be getting my shikada up together. But yeah. Butterflies done. Catch you later.